how to properly read a paper map. Put away your electronics. Find a map your father used on road trips, the one that billowed in the front seat, mom's finger racing across it. Unfold the map and smooth it flat in the middle of the floor. Walk around it, biting into a sandwich, and stare down at the names of cities, Moab, Grayling, Micanopy, Bugspit. Imagine the society of town namers. Wonder if fog floats above Mystic Seaport, if distance is deceptive in the Badlands, if desert winds blow hot from Joshua Tree, if the fertile hollers of Tomahawk and Rock Castle exhale memories rich and smelling of rivers. Pour yourself a glass of milk. Drink it while studying the countryside caught in the creases. Notice how one fold rises like an offering. Watch for a road that reaches out to touch your foot. Maybe just a thin thread, an idea of a road. It's cold. Put on pajamas and socks. Circle the map again, listening to the way it shifts and settles. Go into the kitchen, stare into space a moment, search for a cookie. In the morning, find that thread of road tangled in the fringe of your rug. Take it to the window, lift it close, see how it twists catching the light. When you go, dress warmly, drive slowly, wave often. Coming into Maggie Valley. Early, our car downshifting as we rise. Around us, mountain tops arrayed in turbans of fog. Inhaling clouds, we're closer to heaven here. When we crest the ridge line, the fog tatters. Coming down into the valley, we float through the diaphanous breath of these mountains, redolent of rivers and of an elder earth, an ancestry I know well. Soon we'll stop for gas. We'll stretch our legs on the cracked concrete of a Sunoco station. I'll stare up at the stooped backs of these mountains and remember whose daughter I am.